Hi there. Now, we've got this beam then, AB, resting in equilibrium when it's hanging from ropes attached at A and C. And we also attach a weight of kW newtons at B. And we've got to find out the value of K. So if you'd like to have a go at this one, and by the way, D equals 3, we found that out in the previous part to this question, this value D here. So if you'd like to have a go at this, haven't had a chance to do it, just give you a moment to pause the video, and when you come back, I'll take you slowly through the work solution. Okay, welcome back then, if you had a go. So what we've got to do is basically put the forces on, resolve, and take a moment's equation. Solve our equation simultaneously, and we should finally get the value of k. So let's put the forces on. We know that this beam here is of weight w. It's uniform, and it acts in the middle here. So that's w newtons. And the distance from A to the weight there will be 2 meters, half the length of the beam, 4 meters. OK, so that's 2 meters there. Now, we're also told that the tension in the rope attached at C is now 4 times the tension in the rope attached at A. So if I put the tension in at A, that's going to be T newtons, then the tension at C which will act upwards, that will be 4 times it, that will be 40 newtons. Now, we've also got the particle which is attached at B, and it's got a weight of kW newtons. So that's going to act downwards, put that down there, and that's going to be kW newtons. So that's all the forces then acting on that uniform beam. So we've got to resolve and we can resolve vertically. I'm going to take upwards as positive, but it's up to you which way you take positive. So upwards we've got t plus 4t, so that's a total of 5t. And then downwards, in the negative sense, we've got minus w and then minus kw. And that's the resultant force on the beam, and because it's in equilibrium, that's going to equal zero. And from this, I can make t the subject, therefore t would equal, and if we add these two terms to the right-hand side, we've got w plus kw, and that's all divided by 5. So we're going to need to return back to this equation later, so I'll number it 1. Now we need to take a moments equation, and you can take moments, as I explained in the first part of this question, about any point along this beam. It's up to you. Do experiment. I'm just going to show you the equation that we get when we take moments about A. So we we'll just put moments about A. We need to set up a positive sense, and it doesn't matter whether you take clockwise or anti-clockwise. I'm going to take anti-clockwise as the positive sense. And some people have problems, as I've pointed out in many of my tutorials and videos, that some people have problems in deciding which way these forces turn something. And I've always suggested taking a ruler, putting your finger on the point where you're taking moments about. So A is on the end here. So if we just say you put your finger on the point A, and then we start to apply these forces and see which way it turns. Now, I can see that clockwise is taken as positive, and I can see that if I was to push, if you like, with this 4t on the ruler in that direction, let's say that this is the point C, I apply a force in that direction, simulating this force here, it's going to turn it anti-clockwise about A. So that will be a positive moment. And remember, moment is force times distance. So what we've got here is the force, 4t, and it's multiplied by the distance from c back to where we're taking moments about a. And that distance there is d. And we found out earlier 
that d was equal to 3. So that's 4t times 3. Now if we look at the moment produced by the weight w, w we can say acts downwards, we can think of pushing on the ruler in that direction and that will want to turn the ruler about a in a clockwise sense. So that's going to be minus. So you've got the force w times the distance back to a which is 2, so w times 2. Then we've got this force here from the particle attached to B. That's pushing downwards. And again, if you push downwards at the end there, it's going to turn the ruler in a clockwise sense. So its moment will also be negative. So we've got the force, Kw, times the distance from B to A, which is 4. So Kw times 4. And that's the resultant moment because remember this force T which acts through the point we're taking moments has no turning effect. So that's our resultant moment. It's in equilibrium so that resultant moment should be equal to zero. So it's just a question of solving this equation simultaneously with this one here. So what I'm going to do is substitute equation 1 into here, okay? So sub 1 in the above. And if we do that, what we've got is 12t here, and I can see that if I multiply this by 12, we've got therefore 12 over 5. And I can pull out w as a common factor, so we've got 12 over 5w bracket. 1 plus k. And then we've got minus 2w and then minus 4kw and that will equal 0. And then all I've got to do next is just expand the brackets, group up my terms. So what we've got here, I notice by the way that w is in every term so that's handy, I can cancel that one out there and there and there. Okay, divide through by w. So what we've got here is 12 fifths times 1, that's 12 fifths, and then minus 2, and that's going to be a total of 2 fifths, so we've got therefore 2 fifths equals, because I can see now that I've got 12 fifths k here, minus 4k, that's going to give me minus 8 fifths k, so if I add it to both sides I've got 8 fifths k there. And multiplying through by 5 I end up with 2 equaling 8k and then k will be equal to 2 divided by 8 which is a quarter. So there's our value for k. Now do experiment with taking moments by the way about other points here. You'll get a different equation, but at the end of the day, you should find that when you solve your moments equation with this one here, you should find you get k equaling a quarter. So do try that. So I hope it's given you some idea anyway on how to tackle this kind of question.